Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we'll be looking at the balance sheet or the statement of financial position. We'll be taking the post-adjustment trial balance and using it to do the statement of financial position. In our previous lesson, we were given a pre-adjustment trial balance and additional information, which you can see on the left. This is the pre-adjustment trial balance and the additional information at the bottom here. And we were asked to do the post-adjustment trial balance. You can see there is the requirement prepare post-adjustment trial balance on 29 February 2018 and on the right you can see here it's colored that we have completed the post-adjustment trial balance and if you scroll to the bottom you can see that it balances the the debit balances with the credit now once we have done the post-adjustment trial balance we have been asked to now do the statement of financial position or the balance sheet so once you have done the post-adjustment trial balance and it balances it is very easy to do the statement of financial position it will be very easy to balance it as well but sometimes you're not asked to do the the, the the statement of financial position after the post adjustment trial balance so some people would first do the post adjustment trial balance but you can do the pre adjustment trial balance and the and use and using the additional information to do the statement of financial position if you didn't watch our previous video of us explaining what the post-adjustment trial balance is and how to do it using the pre-adjustment trial balance and additional information. You can click on the link on the top right of the screen right now or you can click on the link in the description below. But I will move to the next tab right here where we see the post-adjustment trial balance that we did in our previous video. And we're going to be using the post-adjustment trial balance. We'll be going back to the additional information to check some of the things that we need to check to complete the statement of financial position. We know the statement of financial position has got two main sections, the asset section and, and sorry, two, three, three sections, the asset section, the equity section, and the liability section. We've got assets, equity and liabilities, and we've got equity and liability section. And under each section, or under rather asset section and liability section you've got nine current assets and current assets for assets and for liabilities you've got non current liabilities and liabilities so let's do this example we have the post adjustment trial balance on the left and on the right in light blue will this is where we'll complete our statement of financial position now remember a statement of financial position has to balance at the end of the uh, at the end of the exercise if it does not balance we have done something wrong somewhere so we have to make sure it also balances just like we did with the post adjustment trial balance which balanced so non-current assets what goes into the non-current asset let's look in the balance sheet section capital does not drawings no land and buildings land and buildings is the first one that goes into our asset section so we'll put land and buildings what was the amount the amount is five hundred thousand rand Okay, what I do is like I, I like to draw it off or to cancel it uh, after I have done each one. So, in fact, let me use the same color as I've used for the statement of financial position. The next one that we have, equipment, that goes into a non-current asset section. Equipment, and how much was that? 30,000. Okay, let me highlight that one. The next one that we have is accumulated depreciation on equipment accumulated depreciation on equipment which was 7000 rand remember it's a negative because it's a contra asset account and then next one is inventory inventory is a current asset right so we can already put that one in our current assets inventory how much was that 2100 and we highlight the inventory now what's next bank yes bank of 8500 data's control yes goes into our current assets section 13,000 rand credit as control is a liability income received in advance is a liability prepaid expense yes that's a current asset 
prepaid expense. If you don't understand what prepaid expense is, you are confused about it, you can click on the link in the description below. We have a video just specifically for that. Prepaid expense is an expense that you have paid in advance. We highlight that one. Then is there anything else we have missed? Oh, sorry, I forgot to highlight the accumulated depreciation, which we did. So we have not missed anything else. The nominal account section does not go into our no but into our balance sheet. So so we've just completed the asset section of the balance sheet. So let's total up the current and non current assets. Cross to sum this three. Okay, we've just totaled them up now what is our total assets non-current lab non-current assets plus current assets 548 600 now let's move to our equity and liability section remember if our equity and liability section do not equal 548 600 then we know we have done something wrong somewhere they have to balance so what goes into our equity section let's move up again capital yes capital goes into our equity section 539 250 what else goes into our equity section okay, let me just highlight that what usually goes into our equity section also is retained earnings and where do we get retained earnings from from the profits from the statement of comprehensive income or statement of uh, or income statement so let's go back to our question our question initially had asked us to do the post adjustment trial balance it gave us the pre-adjustment trial balance and at the bottom gave us additional information sometimes you may be asked to do the balance sheet directly without doing the post adjustment trial balance but having done the post adjustment trial balance makes it very easy to just plug in the figures now if you look at our additional information here number seven the profit for the year amounts to 4600 if you watched our previous video when we did the post adjustment trial balance we said this one is there to throw us off and it's uh, we not because it's not going to be in our post adjustment trial balance because it's profits now Profit goes into our retained earnings. If we are not told that profits was used up to pay a dividend or something, then we know that it goes as retained earnings into our balance sheet. So that is why we take note of profit. So we'll put that in our balance sheet in the equity section. So I'll put it as retained earnings. Retained earnings. That was 4,600. We can also put it as profits, but it usually goes into retained earnings because it's earnings that have been retained in the business. And then what else if you go up here we can see we have drawings here and drawings is what has been drawn from the company by its owners so we have drawings and it's 3000 rand so if it's been drawn we put it under equity section but as a negative because it was drawn it's no longer in the business so let's highlight that as well and then let's go to creditors control Yes, there is a liability. Creditors control of 5,500. And then what else? Okay, let's highlight that. Income received in advance. Yes, that's a liability. It does not belong to us still belongs to the customer because we have not earned it yet if you watched our previous video you'd understand otherwise if you'd like to understand this one we have a video specifically just for this you can click in the link in the description below and then the next one we have is a crude expense yes it's a liability as well there's a link in the description below which explains a crude expense as well but this is expense we have incurred but have not paid yet Crude expense, so it's still a liability, one thousand seven hundred and fifty. So we have just done all the items which were in our balance sheet section of the post adjustment trial balance. The amounts in the nominal account section is the one that goes into the income statement or statement of comprehensive income, so we don't touch that. Now let's total up our equity and liabilities. Equity sum. Then let 
responsibilities 7750 now let's see the balances we add our equity plus liabilities to give us total equity and liabilities you can see that it balances our total assets is 5 548600 and our total equity and liabilities equals 4 5000 uh, 548600 so that is how easy it is to do the statement of financial position once you have done the uh, post adjustment trial balance you don't you may not have to do it if you're not asked to do it then you will just have to do the necessary adjustments using in the statement of financial position but to understand any of this that we have looked at we did it in our post adjustment trial balance uh, exercise in our previous video which i have linked in the description below so check that one out once you're done with that one you can come and check this one out i will also put a link to this uh, particular exercise the excel document in the description below so be sure to check that one out and follow along as we do this if this video has helped you if it has been any value to you please consider subscribing to our channel and liking our video if you can as well you can share this to uh, your, your your fellow students or fellow classmates till next time cheers